Hey guys, I'm back in Bakersfield and I'm going to go thrifting. Wanted to take you guys with me so you can see what it's like. Um, there's some good stores down here. Some of the things I'm looking for today are some floral print skirts for the winter that I can wear with boots and sweaters, hats, coats of course, always coats. So kind of just going to see what catches my eye. just newer brand stuff like Target brands or H&M, um, but I'm still digging. Maybe, not sure. One of the things I do is like, if I'm not sure about a piece, I will take a look at the tag, like see if it's a vintage tag or not. If it is a vintage tag, then I'm more likely to try it on. This is very vintage. I don't know if it's my style. It's like an old classy woman's cardigan. So that's cool. Made in the USA. Normally this would be like 17, 20 dollars. <gasps> A shirt with the ring.
and brown together. The shirt's cute. It's Brandy Melville. Um, I'm just not so sure about the flop. It's kind of like a floppy weird collar. So, Target version, universal thread. Yeah, no, I'm not, not 100% on it. I think I might ask Jason's opinion. which was awesome and the amazing uh, fur collar coat that I got so mostly I felt like I was shopping at Ross because everything was like Target or these like kind of off brands but I felt like I came away with some good things so I'm happy spent $52 I decided to keep the fur collar coat because it fits me great and to be honest I've actually had a lot of those coats come and go in my life and I've always ended up sell, like reselling them or my online Etsy store but I kind of have regretted selling every single one of those fur coats that I've gotten so I decided it's time to get one and keep it for myself I kept that green dress that green dress is really really cute I liked it because I thought it fit really well and I don't wear too many dresses in San Francisco, but when I do, it's nice to have a longer dress because my legs are usually white, <laughs> so they're pale. Uh, I also kept that Madewell look-alike shirt, the plaid one with the like couple bottom. I think I'm gonna do some adjustments, make some adjustments on the sleeves because the sleeves are a little bit too so I'm just gonna move the button over so that it's tighter around my wrist and looks more like a balloon sleeve. I'm also gonna keep the green sweater that I got just because I know I'll wear that at work a lot and um, I do like the color green. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. What else did I keep? Brandy Melville. Ah, I kept that Brandy Melville top, the, the 
brown and black one with the weird collar. I figured my hair kind of covers it, so if the collar ends up looking weird, it's okay. And I kept that blue chambray dress that has the v-neck because we are going to Spain in June and I thought that that would be probably a really comfy, nice dress to wear um, around the area, so. I might actually take the elastic out of the waistband, I'm not sure yet. I feel like I might want it to fit a little bit looser and not so tight on me, so we'll see. And then I kept the three speckled mugs. They are really like cute. And Jason got his, his grill flipper thing. <laughs> I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, I kept the white sweater. Oh, yeah. yeah. I liked it. I did not keep the black studded amazing Michael Jackson <laughs> 80s. Oh, I wanted to keep it so bad, but I have to be really selective nowadays when I buy anything because I just don't have the closet space to hold on to things that I'm only going to wear like once a year. And that was an that was a piece that the reality is I probably would only wear it for special occasions. So I decided to pass on that. I was really sad to see, to, to leave it there, but I think it's for the best. All right guys, thanks so much for coming shopping with me at the Goodwill. And remember, sometimes you don't always find what you're looking for. I didn't find any skirts or hats or purses. Um, it's really hit or miss. That particular Goodwill, I noticed that they had a lot of name brand stuff um, that you could find at Target or Ross. So not a ton of unique um, vintage items, but I was lucky enough to find a couple. So you just gotta keep looking and remember that usually when you go to a thrift store, you'll find at least one or two things that you like and it'll make it worth your going. All right, please like and subscribe, ring those bells if you wanna be notified when I post more videos. Ladies, please remember you are gorgeous. Think of one thing that you love about yourself today and celebrate it. There's only one person in the world that is like you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.